Hi folks and welcome to today's video, the plank exercise for low back disc herniation recovery. Now, I do produce a lot of good content for those folks out there suffering with low back disc herniations, disc bulges, sciatica nerve pain, stenosis, many other low back pain issues. If that's you, then hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified and up some great content for you folks to get you back on the road to recovery. So, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So folks, today I'm going to be looking at the plank um, as an exercise during your low back her disc herniation recovery. Now it's very often given as a mainstay uh, to help strengthen the core, stabilize the core, because stabilizing the core helps support the spine, helps the recovery of that disc herniation. Now there's many ways to make it easier, to make it harder, I'm going to go over a few of those today to help you, because quite often when we start doing some of these exercises, we're simply not strong enough, we do it incorrectly, we don't know how to get, in, to get into the correct position and we need to have it modified. And I'll quite often modify a lot of my exercises that I give to clients during their recovery process to make sure they're able to achieve uh, the exercise methodology and they can do the required time sets, reps, etc. Because during rehabilitation, it's all about building up the tensile strength to the tissues, loading them progressively so they get stronger and stronger and stronger, which of course strengthens the whole spine, hip region, and the body as a whole, and they can recover from their disc injury. So, classic plank, I'm down here in the corner, I'm in a different location again today, and I've got my mat here. Now your classic plank, we're typically on our forearms here, legs out behind me, and we're in this position. Now, personally, when I start people on planking, um, I don't like the classic position. I prefer the hips a little bit higher, with a little bit of a pelvic tilt. And I'll explain why. So in the classic plank position here, my back is a little bit arched. And if I start to tire and my hips go down, I can create excessive extension of the spine, which can cause pain. So I prefer to start the plank a little bit higher, my hips a little bit higher, do a pelvic tilt and get that spine more flat, more neutral. So it looks like this. So here I'm in the classic plank position and I just lift it a little bit higher squeeze my glutes under. When I do that, I engage the abs and I keep my back in a flatter position. And I find a lot of people, they feel better with that exercise. It's not stressful in the spine and they get good results. Now we can change that slightly. Some people, um, if it's the very beginning exercise, maybe not strong enough to hold that position, I'll often get them into a classic push-up position. So we just go here and I'll say to the client, okay, just gonna bring yourself up into the push-up position, tuck the tail under, hold that for maybe five to 10 seconds, and then gently one knee, other knee, and then relax. Take a break for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, go forward, and then repeat, come up, little squeeze under the tail, tuck the tail, squeeze the abs, hold 15, 20, 30 seconds, and then down. Do another set of those. It's a nice, easy way to bring in the plank. Now, if that's even more sort of too difficult for the person, we can go, go with a wider stance, wider feet, wider hands. So my hands are wider, my feet are wider. Gives me a much bigger base of support, much easier for me to hold this position. And then again, down one knee, two knee, and relax. And you can start with 15, 20 seconds to begin with, work your way up to 30, up to a minute. When that's too easy, then you can drop onto your forearms, like I did at the beginning, so you're here, okay? If you wanna make this a little bit harder, you can actually lift one leg up for about five seconds, place it down, reset, other leg up, five seconds, place it down, reset. When you finish, knee, knee, carefully push back. Now, if that's too hard for you, you can actually do standing plank exercises. Now, I've got another video, which is purely on standing core exercises. It's gonna pop up at the end of this one, so go and check it out, because that's really, really effective standing core work, which are the good people who have trouble getting on the ground when they're trying to do these exercises. They don't have the strength to really hold themselves up in their shoulders. So that's a really good video to check out. It'll be on after this one. Now, if you want to progress the plank even further, okay, you can go for this method. We can go into the push-up position here like so. Now, start with your feet nice and wide, and we can do what's called a shoulder tap. So from here, I bring one hand up, touch my shoulder, place it down. 
Other hand up, touch the shoulder, press it down. And we're trying to minimize hip rotation. We're trying to keep those hips as level as possible. You might only start with maybe four repetitions to start with. Two, three, and four. And then come down. But make sure you progress your way through all the different exercises. As I said, start 15, 20 seconds, work up to 30, 45, 60. Once you get hit 60 for a static hold, move from the push-up position onto your forearms. Now it comes through for 60 seconds. Go back to up, up to the push-up and try the shoulder tap. Maybe start with two to four reps. Try to work up for 10, 12 reps in total. All right, guys, listen. Hope that video was useful. Um, if you're out there with questions about this exercise or any other exercises to do with lower back rehabilitation, hit me up in the comment section down below. Or if you want to speak to me personally, send me an email. Me and most down there as well. I'm happy to help as many people as I can with their low back issues. Drop me an email. All right, guys, listen, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.